Hi Pisces, welcome to your general love reading for April 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Pisces. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. Also, the roles in this reading can be reversed because it is general. All right, Pisces, what is going on with you? For April 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see. For the situation, we have the Four of Wands crossed by the World card. Ooh, okay, so there is a commitment here. Um, a big commitment here. And the challenge is to actually close out a cycle or end a chapter for this commitment. So, I don't know. Let's see. For your energy, we have the Two of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Tower. It feels like you're almost like you don't really know what to do. There's, there's a little bit of a hesitation here, holding back, holding back um, from a direction that you want to go in. And it does feel like you might be doing little things in terms of taking that direction, um, but not really going all the way. And because of that, you're not getting the full result of what it is that you would want. And because of all that, there is a tower. I feel like, you know, um, it's kind of like things kind of get harder the more that you, that you wait. Um, again, the roles can be reversed, but let's see what's going on with another person here. We have death. Oh, so Scorpio energy, the lovers, that's Gemini, um, and the queen of swords. So this person is also dealing with an ending. Um, Or it just feels like there's there's some kind of an ending here or some kind of a transformation that's pretty big here, especially concerning a love connection. Let's see the potential outcome. The Ace of Cups, very interesting. Okay, so I feel like this reading is actually um, for a pretty complicated situation because there's love here at the end of this. So might be with the same person here, or there might be more than one person involved here. Um, it does feel like that tower, this death, this ending, this ending of a cycle, closing out something, it's actually leading to love. Now, whether it be with this, this person that's being shown down here, or with somebody else, um, I can't know that. It's going to be different for everybody. So let's clarify, let's see. What is going on here? Let's see the Four of Wands and the World card. The Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. Wow. Yeah, talk about there being a walking away. There being, there, there's an ending here. There's an ending that's like looming um, in the atmosphere. But there's also a resistance to this ending, um, possibly because, and it's, I don't even know if I should say this to you or about the other person because it feels like you're both kind of in this energy, maybe for different people, maybe for each other, I don't know. Um, but there's a resistance to a particular ending here because there's a sense of loss, right? Feeling alone and then what if? Um, what if this leaves me um, completely alone? Or what if this loss is too big for me to handle? But at the same time, what I'm seeing here is that there is a walking away. It's gradual. There's a resistance to it. But at the same time, it is happening. I feel like it might just be taking a little while longer because of that. To be honest, I feel like this is more for you. Um, but of course, it could be the other person or the roles can be reversed. 
So let's see. For the Two of Wands in your energy, we have the Ace of Cups and the Magician. Okay, so the spirit, the, the spirit, the message from spirit here is pretty clear. Um, it's like by waiting to take this action or by waiting to allow the tower to fall, basically you are just delaying that Ace of Cups. Um, that's what, I mean, it's like you're manifesting that Ace of Cups, but you're manifesting it with the tower. So it's like by waiting to take action here, um, you're just delaying that Ace of Cups, but it's there, which is that love, right? That can, that's, that's like right there, like waiting for you. Um, let's see, Seven of Pentacles, the Emperor and the Moon. Okay, so we also have, yeah, your own energy here, Pisces, showing up. It's like, you know, the one hand, you know you have what it takes to move forward in this. Like, you, you totally have what it takes. And so that's why you are taking some steps forward in that direction, but then you have hesitations. Then the doubts creep up on you. Um, or, you know, there's fear that creeps up on you, but your intuition is telling you, 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 you know, th this is what you want. This is, you can do this. You have what it takes. And you are, I mean, you are doing it. I feel like, you know, you're just moving very cautiously. So let's see the tower. Four of Swords and the King of Wands. See, I'm telling you, <laughs> you're going to overcome this tower. Whatever it is that you are expecting might happen. If you're like expecting the worst, you know, I don't know what it is that you think might be so, so dreadful. And I'm not saying that it's easy. It definitely is not easy. A tower is never easy. But look what the tower is attached to. It's attached to the Four of Swords, which is all about healing and recovery and finding peace and the King of Wands, who overcomes challenges. So, whatever this is, you got this. You got this, that is the message here. And I do see you moving in that, in that direction. Um, it's really up to you how long you want it to take. All right, let's see what's going on with this other person here. Let's see death. The Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Who is this? There's somebody here that's also just really processing an ending here, possibly with somebody else because we have this Queen of Pentacles, which is not your energy. Um, and if you look, whatever that is, whatever whatever kind of an ending they're having, it doesn't necessarily have to be with another person. It could be something within themselves. Um, it's happening quickly. It's happening pretty quickly. There's action that is being taken here. Or just, there's just movement. There's a lot of movement here. And I feel like it's really leading this person, this particular person, to really find, find themselves. Let's see the lovers. We have the fool and strength what is going on here so many major energies yeah so definitely having aries and leo showing up here as well um just a whole bunch of signs this person is taking action basically there's an ending they're taking action they're they're really ready to move forward in some way, and it's not something that is easy for them either. Um, it's taking a leap of faith, which is requiring a lot of strength and a lot of courage from them, especially if it has to do with making some kind of a choice here, putting an end to something in order to start something new. Let's 
see the Queen of Swords. <laughs> Clarified by the Queen of Swords again. And the Three of Swords. Okay, so whatever this ending is that this person is having to deal with, um, I again, I don't, I'm not really sure if this is you. Um, I feel like it's something else. This could even be somebody that um, that's not even really like in your awareness at the moment for some of you. I'm, I'm getting that message as well. Um, I'm hoping you would know. But this person definitely has a lot of clarity on the fact that, you know, whatever this ending is that they're having to deal with, it's it's going to create pain. They know that. But it's like having come to terms with that, that, yeah, you know what, this is going to be painful, but if this is what needs to be done, then this is what needs to be done. Plain and simple. Um, I don't know what this person is to you, honestly. Let's see the Ace of Cups for the potential outcome. The Two of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, see, there's that Two of Wands again, which is which was your, your first card out. So basically, it's going back to that, that, yeah, you know what, there's this new path that is waiting for you. There's a new beginning here, right? And it involves this offer of love, the Knight of Cups, somebody coming in, may or may not be this person. And, but whatever it is, it's leading to a lot of love and a lot of happiness. This is like pure love, right? Unconditional love. <laughs> but there's this, there's that two of wands, right? Which is um, in your energy, it's that stalling, that waiting. So really, again, what it comes down to is that it's up to you for when you want to have this Ace of Cups. It's related to allowing some kind of a tower to fall, um, possibly some kind of a completion that needs to be done. Whatever it is, I feel like you already know what that is because you're already moving in that direction. So yeah, if you feel like you need to take your time, take your time. But know that you can handle it, whatever it is, and you have this Ace of Cups waiting for you on the other side. All right, Pisces. If this resonated, let's get the final message for you. All right, and we have polarity. Integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. Yeah. Um, I feel like, you know, you might be seeing this darkness <laughs> that of the, of the tower, right? But understand that you need that darkness of the tower in order to then have the light, right, of the Ace of Cups. And it also feels like this is something that this person here is realizing when I, when I said before that they know that they need to go through this pain, right, the dark, in order to get to their Ace of Cups as well. So yeah, Pisces, those were your messages. I thank you so, so much for watching and much love.